Summit County is preparing for a mask mandate officially in place at midnight. And just a few hours ago, Fox 13 confirmed Park City High School will now go to a test to stay protocol. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph is live on Park City's historic Main Street tonight where those big changes will be coming. Spencer, what are you seeing up there right now? It is certainly a busy night here on Main Street in Park City. Lots of people out. Obviously, it's the height of ski season. Sundance canceling in person, but that was still happening. So there are still a lot of people out here. Now, as we've been walking around Main Street, we've seen about 50-50 uh, in terms of people wearing masks or not wearing masks, maybe tilting a little bit more towards not wearing masks. Obviously, that mandate goes into effect at midnight tonight, so it's not required right now. Uh, but lots of people choosing not to mask right now. Most of those we talked to were not local. A lot of them coming from around the country, obviously Park City being a very large tourist destination. Now, they didn't even know the mandate was going into effect until we asked questions of a lot of people. Now, here are some of those that gave their perspectives upon learning about the mandate, all of them giving some mixed reactions to it. It's not something that I would choose, but I think it's extremely necessary. Um, a lot of people are getting vaccines, but a lot of people aren't. Um, and so as a whole, I don't think it hurts anyone to wear them. Um, so I think it's probably what needs to happen. Probably a good idea. I'm all for it. I believe in mass. I believe that they will help stop the spread until we figure this out. I think it's a good thing at this situation. It's, it's, it's dangerous. And, and um, so I think I agree with the mass mandate. You've been vaccinated two, three times. Some of us are willing to take our chances, right? So free country. Let's uh, let's get over this. Now we mentioned that test to stay at Park City High School. Let's look at the numbers. There are 66 active cases in the school, which amounts to about 5.3% of the population, well over the test to stay threshold. Fox 13 has also received a statement from Dr. Bondurat, the director of the Summit County Health Department, saying in part, quote, this was not an easy decision and is certainly not an action we wanted to take at this stage in the pandemic. However, it is the right decision. Also expressing some concern, not only for children, that are in our schools, but frontline healthcare workers as well as teachers in those schools, hoping that this mask mandate takes effect over the next about 45 days to help slow the spread here in Summit County. But with everything happening at once here in Park City with Sundance, the mask mandate, the test to stay protocol at Park City High School, a lot of precautions being taken. So we'll keep you up to date with the latest. But for now, live on Park City's historic Main Street, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.